What is up YouTube, Mike here, and today is going to be my first uh, Q&A video. So I've got some questions, I didn't get a ton, but um, for those of you who actually uh, asked some questions, I'll go ahead and answer them. Um, the majority of you guys actually had the same question, which is kind of interesting, but uh, let's get started. All right, so the first question I got was actually related to the iPad Pro versus the Surface. And um, the question was, what is better for writing? The Apple Pencil, which I have right here, or the Surface Pen, which I actually have right here, for writing? And to answer the question, um, I've used both of these. As you can see, I actually own both of them. But I have to say, for accuracy, I've got to go with the Apple Pencil. So if you've got an iPad Pro, 9.7 or 12.9 inch model, then obviously this will work. So I highly recommend this one. Um, now, I'm not saying this one's bad. I think this one is also awesome, but uh, the Apple Pencil, I think, just has a little bit better accuracy and as far as a uh, parallax effect. effect. With this, sometimes we notice a little bit of parallax, but not much. So really, they're both great. So honestly, you can't go wrong. You won't go wrong if you get either of these, but um, if I had to, I guess, pick one, I would say this one is just a little tad more accurate. But another little pro, though, is um, on my iPad, I actually have a screen protector, which creates just the perfect amount of friction. Now, without a screen protector, I prefer this one, because this one's got kind of like a little friction tip you may or may not be able to see. Um, so again, honestly, either one of these you will not be disappointed with, but if I had to pick one, I guess I would go with the Apple Pencil. So thanks for the question. Um, hopefully that helped you out. So moving on to the next question. Um, I'll answer this one. A lot of folks are asking, what is my MOS and what is my rank? So what do I do in the Army? If you're new to my channel and you haven't figured it out, yes, I'm in the Army, hence Techno GI. Um, I'm currently still deployed to Afghanistan Nice place, but I wouldn't recommend visiting this. But um, for those who are curious, I'm what we call a warrant officer. It's um, mostly exclusive to the Army. Uh, some of the other branches have warrant officers, but not as pilots. But the Army, 90% of the pilots are warrant officers. So I'm a what they call a Chief Warrant Officer 4, and I'm an Apache pilot. So my MOS is 152 Hotel. And also within um, warrant officers, when we become pilots, there's things called tracks. So um, there's four tracks you can choose from. You can either be a safety guy, which is what I am. So I'm an aviation safety officer. You can be an instructor pilot. You can be a maintenance test pilot or what we call TAC ops. So I happen to be a safety officer. So I am a warrant officer who flies Apaches, who is also the aviation safety officer. So I know a lot of you guys had questions on that. That was probably the most asked question, but yep. I'm in the army, I'm a warrant officer and I fly. So next question, um, let's see. Oh, um, somebody was asking, what kind of internet speed do I have? And um, basically who provides it? It's not provided by the Army. Um, so this is something I pay for out of pocket. It's called DHI and it's like a kind of a satellite Afghan company. It's extremely slow. So as far as speeds go, it's, a little bit better than dial up sometimes it's a little faster sometimes a little slower but for instance for me to upload my youtube videos usually takes anywhere from three hours to eight hours so it's pretty painfully slow so and it's extremely expensive like there's multiple plans the one i have is supposed to be you know one of the better plans and i pay like a hundred and some dollars a month like 120 bucks a month and it's totally not worth it it's very very overpriced and it sucks and uh, the folks that run it really have a monopoly, so they're kind of screwing soldiers, if you want to know my opinion. But internet is one of those things where it makes deployment a lot easier, a lot better. You can FaceTime, keep in touch with families. But that's the internet we have. It's crappy, it's expensive, but it is what it is. So um, it's a real quick little point. If you're watching this and you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I can honestly say no excuses. So. I'm here in Afghanistan and I've uploaded probably 40 videos since I've been here with my crappy internet. So it takes me freaking eight hours to upload a video uh, and I'm still doing it. So no excuses. 
Next, uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, Thomas, roughly, he's asking me, uh, when I'm deployed, how easy or difficult is it to receive new gadgets, especially within an active conflict zone? Um, that's actually easier than you'd think. Um, Amazon. Amazon.com really is the soldier's best friend. Um, I'm an Amazon Prime guy, and mail, it varies, but when I order something from Amazon, I can usually get it within 10 to 14 days, which is outstanding. I mean, just to put it in perspective, you know, World War II days, and even when the first war kicked off, you'd take it months to get a letter. So pretty impressive. So um, mail's actually fairly quick here. So um, obviously I can't just go somewhere and buy it. There's no bus buy here or anything. We have what's called a post exchange PX, and it's pretty crappy, pretty limited. It's literally, our PX is full of nothing but like chips and salsa. I don't know why. Chips and salsa and like bottles of water and Gatorade, all the stuff you can get in the chow hall. So it's kind of worthless. But um, Amazon.com is pretty awesome. So if they sell on Amazon, um, I can pretty much get it to review if I want. It's just um, I don't want to accumulate too many gadgets over here just because I've got to get it all back. Um, so I haven't done that many gadget reviews just because it's obviously a little more of a pain in the butt. But if I were, I would just use Amazon because they ship to APOs is what this is considered. So um, it's actually fairly easy. So thanks for your question there. Um, let's see. Uh, and then uh, somebody was asking me about uh, what are my thoughts on Windows Defender and um, they're basically the Norton subscription is about to run out and they just wanted to use uh, Windows Defender um, so Windows Defender I highly recommend it I mean obviously it comes pre-installed with Windows and with Windows 10 um, I really Windows Defender has done nothing but getting gotten better I mean, I think gone are the days where you need to get, you know, your McAfee and your Norton. And unfortunately, if you don't buy a Surface laptop, just any other Windows laptop, generally you're going to have that crap preloaded. And um, it still, I think, bogs your computer down. It's very uh, intense, intensive, RAM intensive. So honestly, I don't think they're necessary anymore. Like I said, I've been using Windows 10 now for since it came out, actually. And then before that, I had Windows 8. So I've basically been using the Surface model since they come out and I've used nothing uh, but Windows Defender and I think it works great. It runs in the background. It doesn't bog my system down. I mean, if you just practice good common sense internet stuff, you know, if you don't go to the porn sites and if you're not uh, pirating movies, and things of that nature, you should, you'll have nothing to worry about and just exercise common sense. Don't open spam emails. So I think Windows Defender is really all you need. It's a spyware slash virus scan. It scans my computer every night in the background. I don't even know it's doing it. So I would let your Norton expire, and your or if you got any kind of paid one, I, I recommend um, discontinuing it, uninstalling it from your computer, and just going with Windows Defender. So that's just my opinion. I've honestly had no issues. Like I said, if you just use common sense, stay away from the porn sites, and obviously don't download pirated stuff. Stay away from your pirate bay and all that. And you'll have no problems whatsoever so good question now so um, like I said it works for me and I think you'll be just fine and let's see that was really the extent of it I mean most people had the same question I was just dealing with my job so um, like I said Apache pilot um, I've actually here let's see today is the 24th in Afghanistan so about two weeks I'll actually hit my 20 year anniversary of active duty so been in the army for 20 years now um, it's gone fast kind of crazy but uh, probably two more years or so I'll retire just because I'm sick of being over here every other year kind of sucks but anyways so hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you got more questions um, I'd love to do another one of these so just either hit me up on Twitter which the link is in the description below or Facebook or just drop it in the comments so as always thanks for watching you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed please do so thanks